Hello everyone. I'm Zhang Yiming from Tongji University. Today I will introduce our work, multiple choice questions based on multi-interest policy learning for conversational recommendation. Our collaborators are mainly from Tongji University, Jingdong, Squiro AI Learning, and so on. Recently, conversational recommendation system has attracted great attention. As the example shown in the figure, conversational recommendation system (CRS) is able to obtain fine-grained and、uh, dynamic user preferences and make successful recommendations through conversations with users. The system will decide to ask questions about attributes or recommend items in each turn of the conversation. And the case are modeling user interests and selecting the appropriate action at each turn. Previous studies set up a user simulator to simulate the system user conversation. Previous CRS user simulator assumes that the user has a clear target item. The user accepts attributes associated with the item and rejects others. However, this assumption deviates from the real scenario. If user has a clear target item, he would resort to search system, not CRS. As a result, we first propose a more realistic conversational recommendation learning setting, namely multi-interest, multi-round conversational recommendation (MIMCR). Specifically, the user May have a clear single preference for some attribute types, such as、uh, bright color or type. While for other attribute types, the user may have multiple preference or even no clear preferences, which leads to multiple acceptable attribute instances of one attribute type. For example, for color type, the user may accept both red and black. Therefore, users may have multiple interests in attribute instances combinations and accept multiple items with potentially overlapped combination of attribute instances. Existing works may encounter three significant limitations under our. Proposed MIMCR scenario. First, as shown in conversation A, current CRS frameworks often employ binary questions, which is concise but unable to elicit user interests effectively. On the other hand, enumerating all choices are not a prior. Practical, since there may be too many attribute instances to be shown and answered by the user. Second, as shown in the conversation B, CRS can efficiently obtain user preferences by using multiple choice questions. However, the existing methods utilize the intersection site strategy to select items that. Are associated with all accepted attribute instances, which could easily lead to the overfiltering of user pre- preferred candidate items as the conversation progresses. Finally, the existing methods simply model users' intention intentions in a uniform manner, which will fail to identify the user's multiple interests. Through the combination of attribute instances. In summary, our contributions include: we extend the existing CRS setting to a more realistic scenario named MIMCR. For the MIMCR scenario, we propose the multiple choice questions based on multi-interest policy learning (MCMIPL) framework. To extract user interests and decide appropriate actions, we adapt four data sets for MIMCR and extensive experimental results on these data sets show the superiority of our method. The goal of our framework is to learn the policy network to maximize the expected calculative rewards. 
on the whole, the process of our framework in one turn can be decomposed into three steps, user modeling, consultation, and uh, transition. Uh, where user modeling and uh, consultation is calculated by multi-interest policy learning. We firstly encode the state which contains all the conversation information of the prior turns. The current state includes six components. User, user accepted attribute instances, user rejected attribute instances, user rejected items, candidate items, and candidate attribute instances. Once the system finishes the user modeling step, it will move to the consultation step with the purpose to decide whether to ask attribute instances or to recommend the items. When the user responds to the action of the agent, the transition step will be triggered. Based on user feedback, we update these components the state. For the candidate items, we propose the attribute instance based union site strategy to select candidate item, satisfying at least one accept attribute instance instead of previous intersection set strategy. To better train the model, we designed five kinds of rewards. The multi-interest policy learning has several key models, current gen, global gen, and the multi-interest structure are employed to model user interest. Action decision policy learning is proposed to decide next action. We use current GN to obtain current node embedding. We use global GN to obtain global node embedding. We employ the dating mechanism to fill the node embedding. We authorize items and attribute instances rejected by user to complement the user preference. In MIMCR scenario, since the user's interest is diversity, we use multi-attention mechanism to model the user and attribute instances accepted by the user. The multi-interest embeddings of user can be obtained through the combina combination of attribute instances with different ways. We adopt the iterative update rule to adjust the width of attribute instances with M iteration more precisely. A large action search space will bring a great negative impact on the efficiency. We select key V items and key P attribute instances as candidate action space. We design an improved dueling Q night to determine the next action. Based on the obtained KI interest representations, we calculate each score between action AT and each interest and take the maximum value as Q value. We select the action with maximum Q value. If the selected action points to an item, the system will recommend top key items with the highest Q value. If the selected action points to an attribute instance, the system will generate attribute type based on multiple choice questions to ask a user. Specifically, the system decides attribute type C of selected action and select top K A attribute instance whose corresponding attribute types is C with the highest Q value. For each turn, the agent will receive the reward based on the user's feedback. According to user feedback, we can update the state and uh, action space. We define a reply buffer which stores the experience. To train our model, we support mini batch experiences from the reply buffer and define a loss function. Due to the overestimation bias in original DQN, we employ the double DQN to copy a target network as a periodic from the original network to train the model. 
for the target items of one conversation, with sample NV items with potentially overlapped attribute instances as the acceptable items for the user. Given a conversation, the simulated user's feedback of each turn follows the rules. When the system asks a question, he will accept the attribute instances which are associated with any target item and reject others. For the system recommends a list of items, he will accept it if the list contains at least one acceptable term. The simulated user will exist the system until he accepts the recommended item list or the system reaches the maximum number of turns. In addition, we use SRST, AT, HNDCG, and TK as the evaluation matrix. To evaluate our method performance, we compare our method with representative baselines and MIMCR scenario. For a more comprehensive and fair performance comparison, we will adapt to SAP and Unicorn with our proposed attribute type based on multiple choice questions and attribute instance based union set strategy. As shown in the table, our framework outperforms all the comparison methods on four data sites. As shown in the figures, as the number of conversations turn groups, the over specific candidate item set over filters out the acceptable items which limits the subsequent improved improvement of this method. On the contrary, our method achieves an outstanding performance in the later stage of the conversation because there are still comparatively generalized candidate item set and attribute space to avoid over filtering. We evaluate the effectiveness of different modules. Line 3 shows the impact of iterative multi-interest extractor and line 4 shows the impact of global graph representation. We also conduct some experiments to study the effectiveness of strategy. Line 5 shows the impact of multiple choice questions and line 6 shows the impact of union set strategy. Line 7 shows the different performances of different strategies to select to ask attribute instances. We conduct some experiments to explore the hyperparameters, interest number k and ask the attribute instances number kp. Since interest number k is closely related to maximum number nv of acceptable items, we explore the hyperparameter ki in the case of the maximum number nv of acceptable items is 2 and 3 respectively as shown in the left figures. Besides, as shown in the right figures, the attribute instances number ki included in a question also affects the system performance. To show the process of extracting the user multiple interests, we present a conversation case generated by our framework from MovieLens dataset. We only show the attribute types and instances that are relevant to the questions. For each interest, we present attribute instances with high contribution rate, where the sum of their attention score is greater than 0.8. As can be seen, based on user's feedback of each turn as well as historical global information, our model extracts multiple interests in different attributes in instances combination. Finally, our method makes a successful recommendation based on one of the interest representation that perfectly matches user preference. Finally, to sum up our work, we define a more realistic CRS scenario, MIMCR. Based on the scenario, we propose a novel framework, MCMIPL. Extensive experimental results on four data sites demonstrate the superior 
priority of our method for the proposed MIMCR sighting. Thank you very much for listening. Okay, thank you for the presenter. I think we have um, author uh, Inning is here to answer questions. Um, do we have any question, quick questions? Uh, I have one question. Uh, the author have mentioned that you select uh, some items and uh, attributes as the uh, action space in uh, each turn of the conversation in system. So what kind of techniques are used to select the actions? Uh, sorry, you mean uh, how to build the, the action space? Oh, yes. Okay. okay. Uh, due to the, the time uh, uh, constraints, I have not covered this part in detail. Uh, in fact, uh, large action uh, search space will bring a great negative impact on the efficiency. Uh, so we may, we may not use all items and uh, attribute instances as, uh, as action space. Uh, we use a score to, to select actions and uh, attribute instances. Uh, so how to compute the score? Uh, in fact, we employ the, uh, the dot product uh, calculation. Uh, we have the users embedding uh, as well as users uh, accepted and rejected attribute instances embeddings uh, in, in prior terms. Uh, we compute uh, the dot products by using uh, these embeddings on uh, uh, each candidate item and uh, uh, all attribute instances embedding to obtain the score. Uh, uh, based on the score, uh, uh, we select uh, some items and uh, attribute instances with higher uh, scores uh, as uh, uh, action space. Right. Oh, okay. Thank you. I'm sorry to cut off. Um, uh, maybe um, for additional sort of, uh, I guess, uh, questions, um, can, you guys can contact me um, uh, 